toast. I was spread it too thick. No. No what? Thank you. Uh, you're very welcome. Would you like more milk? No, thank you. What about some breakfast for the grown-ups? No, love, I'm okay, thanks. Uh, I'll have with my coffee. Uh, where's your sports bag? In my room. So, I am forty today. What position do you do? Oh, really? That's a good position. Can we go now? Oh, you not finished your breakfast yet? I'm not hungry. You're not going to school without any breakfast, I've told you. At least you're on the way. Right, that's fine. Oi! Say bye to Carla. No. Oi! It's all right, it's no biggie. <sighs> right. Sorry, love, you'll come round. Hey, do you know what I think? I think you're more similar than you think. Eh? You're both stubborn as mules. Come here. Mm. Mm. You end up being best of pals, promise. Yeah. Ah, just the woman. Why? Right. Got time for a chat? Uh, well, I'm just on my way to work. Perfect. We can grab a brew and all. Well, actually, I was going to come see you later on anyway about Katie and Chesney. Well, that's exactly what I want to talk about. Is it? Great minds, eh? Great minds. You know Carla's trying her best. Why don't you give her a break, eh? I miss my mum. Yeah, I know you do, love, but things change. You know, you've got to get used to it. Why? Well, because that's life, sonny. Hello, Mr. Never gonna give you up. Never Someone's gonna... happy this morning. <laughs> Is this Frank's? Okay. Yes, Annie's going to be spending a lot more time around here, if that's all right with you. Yeah, of course it is. You sure? Yeah, I just want you to be happy. I am, sweetheart, I am. Just one more condition, though, Mum. What's that? Please stop singing, cos it's like nails being scraped down a blackboard. <laughs> Cheeky mare. Morning. Morning. Do you uh, mind if I join you for breakfast? Not at all. Because I ate all the cereals. What? And because I ate all the bread. Oh, she's such a fuss part. And because I finished all the bog roll, left my towel on the floor, and I'm in music on all night. Anything else? And she said that you're a desperate mother and you only have me to claim the benefits. Where is she? Gone to bed. Craigie, put them back in the bowl. Morning, love. How'd you sleep? Yeah, okay. I've just seen Peter taking Simon to school. So if I go over there, get me stuff, then I'll be on my way. Why don't you stay a bit longer? No, thanks, but no thanks. I think Simon would like to see you. I think it'd just upset him. And to be honest, I'm not sure I could handle it. I think it'd do me head in. Well, if you change your mind, you know you can always stay here. Yeah, there is. What? Nothing. I know what it's like to be cheated on. My ex cheated on me, and I won't wish it on anybody. Especially not my sister. Thanks. Right, I best go before he gets back. See you in a bit. All right. No, don't get all soppy on me. Banging on the door, gone nine o'clock. We were right in the middle of dirty dancing. Oh, I love that film. Oh, no, I don't mean the film. What did he want? Peter, I mean. What, to have a go at us about talking to Ken? Honestly, the language he used. Ryan is only looking out for Simon. Don't worry about that little lad. Isn't that? We are. Where did she get back? I don't know. Oh, I hope Mrs Connor's going to be all right today. We've got the first batch of that court right order to get out. Jo, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad she's not the only boss we've got. All right, then. See you, Sophie. Bye, Sophie. See you later. Bye. Morning, girls. I take that back. <laughs> what 
you doing here? Just come to get me stuff. Well, you, you could have given us some warning. I don't need to give you anything, Carla. This is my house, not yours. Actually, it's mine now. Cheers. I'm fine. You can leave me on my own, you know. I don't want to. Yeah, well, you need to get to work. You've already lost half a morning. I don't like leaving you, though. I'm fine. You promised you'd accept help, remember? Yeah, and you're not going to work in help neither of us, is it? <sighs> OK. But tonight, I'm making the tea, and I'll put Joseph to bed. Then you can pop round and see Izzy, you know, have a break. You'll be knackered. I'll manage. But one second. <laughs> Morning. Morning. <sighs> Hiya. Oh. We've uh, we've come to give you some good news. Oh, we've run water, eh? Close. <laughs> What's this? A rotor. I've changed my hours at the cafe, so I can help you two mornings a week. And I'm leaving Jason in charge on Friday afternoons, God help me. And we'll babysit two evenings a week. This is amazing. Well, we did promise we'd help, mate. I know, but... So let's start tonight. What time do you want to drop him round? Oh, I don't know. Well, how about you check the film times at the cinema, then let us know. Oh, here we go. Oh, Dad. No arguments. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. What are families for, eh? Oh, don't start blaming Frank. He didn't steal my husband. You did. I never meant to hurt you. How many times are you going to lie to me, face? How many times did he lie? Tell me something. Were you sleeping together from the start? No. Before we were even married? What, when you were sleeping with Nick? Oh, I wondered when you were going to sleep Well, that it's one true. In. No, this is my moral I go and Carla, not yours. Come on, when did it start? We didn't sleep together till after I was raped. <laughs> well, at least you and Peter got your story straight on that. It isn't a story, it's true. Well, I don't believe you. Well, I swear. Well, do you know what? I'm not even sure I believe you were ever raped. Look. I never meant to fall in love with Peter. God knows. I no, tried... you didn't. You chased him. And when he said no, you kept throwing yourself at him till he couldn't fight you off anymore. You're like a cat on eat. Well, let's face it. If he was happy with you, he wouldn't have even looked twice all at me. Oh, right, so it's all my fault now, is no, it? No, I'm just saying there must have been a problem in your relationship. Yes, there was a problem in our relationship. I just had a miscarriage. And you took advantage of that. We never slept together. He told me you kissed. So what now? Are you going to settle down? Yeah. Wash his socks. Make the tea. Do the school run every day. Why not? There's a little boy in all this, you know. Yeah, I know, and I care about Simon. <laughs> care about Simon? You've not got a maternal bone in your body. Oh, whatever, Leanne. The simple fact is, Peter loves me and not you, so I'm sorry, but move on and get over it. Peter doesn't love you, Carla. He's addicted to you. Like he is to the booze. And sooner or later, the hangover's gonna kick in. Carla, we've got that meeting with Geoffrey at 11 o'clock. Just wondering where you are. I should try the pub if I were you. I thought you weren't feeling very well last night. I wasn't, but then I felt better. If you don't want to have dinner with me, you just have to say. Mum, you're not the only woman in my life. <sighs> Clearly not. It's a long time since I've caused such friction between a bloke and his mum. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not like it. This is it. Sum total of my life, Peter Barlow. No, don't, cos I promised myself I wasn't going to cry. Hey. Hey, thank you. Look, uh, I heard what happened. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. For what it's worth, I think Peter's an idiot. Right, well, I suppose I should get going then. Oh, why don't you stay for some lunch? I'm not really hungry. I bet you haven't eaten a thing. Come on. Sixty, eighty, one hundred. There you go, mate. Your lucky day. See ya. That fella that's just come in, right, he's never put a bet Leanne's on in back. his life. What? She uh, came to collect her stuff. When? About an hour ago. 
Why don't you tell me? Well, don't say it like that. Like what? Like I've done something wrong. I'm, oh, I'm just... I'm shocked, that's well, all. Well, so was I when I came up with Sharon and found her in the flat. And how was she? Is that what's important? No, I, no, I don't mean it like that. You know that. what, I mean, if you're that bothered about it, then sure no, she's still oh, around. Carla, I don't mean it like that. No, sorry, I'm being stupid. Hey, I have no interest in seeing Leanne, OK? What if she wants to see you? Well, tell her what I said when she left. That I love you. I made my choice. That's my world famous cheese toaster, you know. Sorry. When I say world famous, I mean it's the only thing I don't burn. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be so hard, you know. And Carla was there. Oh. You could have told me that she'd moved in. I'm sorry. I, I just didn't want to upset you. There she was, swanning around my house, telling me it was all my fault Peter had left me. Why don't you come and stay here? No, I can't. I want to look after you. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm being selfish. No, you're not. You're being my mum. I'm really glad you're here, you know. I am telling you, ma'am, Jeremy Kyle would have a field day. Well, you could always come back and stay at ours. I'll talk your dad round. No offence. But I don't think I could share a room with that many pots again. Oh, no, no, I'm getting rid of some. I'm thinking of getting a stall on the market. Oh, right. I'm supposed to be taking you out for lunch. At least it's brave. You don't even work here. To my mum, family is just free labour. I'm glad she's looking after Leanne, though. I mean, someone had to. You've still got feelings for her, haven't you? <laughs> uh, no, no. Because if you do, I would rather know now. Hey, look, Eva. Me and Leanne were over a long time ago, you know. Her and Peter splitting up doesn't change anything. As long as you don't think you've got the ugly sister. Don't be daft. I hate people snogging in public. It just seems so in your face. Yeah, I don't mind. If you're in love, show the world. Hmm. Maybe I'm just bitter. Oh, Steve will come round. <laughs> well, according to Beth, it's her he loves, not me. <laughs> you are kidding. Mum, I'm telling you, that woman has got body dysmorphia. She looks in the mirror, she sees Elle McPherson. How could she possibly think Steve will be interested in her? She'd run a mile. You're a genius. Hey. I've got to go. There's something I've got to do. I've put Jeffrey off till two. We weren't happy, but I think I've smoothed it over. OK, good girl. Right, what's going on? Nothing. You are never late for a meeting. I forgot. I don't believe you. You've been working on this deal for weeks. Leanne's back. Oh, come on. She just walked right back into the flat as if she'd never left. Does Peter know? Yep. Yeah. And? He says it doesn't change anything. Right, well, then it doesn't. Yeah, but... Look, has she said she wants him back? Is she sticking around? She says she just came for stuff. Right. So what are you worried about, then? Hawk, you've done the hard part. He's made a commitment. Simon hates me. Just, just give him time. But I don't know what to do. Michelle's kids, they're like a foreign language to me. Carla saunters in at ten to one and then has a tea break. Good job someone's running this place. Hello? Just hang on. Hi. Yeah, still on course. <laughs> Me too. See you at seven. Okay. Who is that? No one. It must be someone. <laughs> no one important, just a contact. We're supposed to be working together. And? You're shutting me up. No, I'm not. Like dinner last Mom. night. You're embarrassing yourself. More sewing, less gawping. What's that about? Oh, nothing. You know, Mum. Something? Please, Sally. Don't you start. So I can't tempt you to stay a few more days? No. You can't keep on tying yourself for again. It's just till I get myself sorted. Right, well, let me give you a bit of cash to tie you up. No, off. Stella, honestly, I'm fine. Mum! I think you come back! 
Hey, listen, sweetheart, um, I'm not staying. I'm, I've just come to collect a few things. You can't go away again. You can't. Why is he back from school so early? There's been a bit of trouble. He's been sent home. Why? What's happened? I wasn't doing anything. He was bullying another boy. Hit him, apparently. Simon, is this true? No, it was a tackle. Well, not according to his game teacher. Simon? He started, he was calling me names. Well, even so, you never hit somebody, do you, eh? I won't do it again if you stay, please. Well, you could stay for lunch. Now he's seen you. Before you pack yourself in front of that teller, there's someone here to see you. Ew. Come on. Come on. Afternoon. What are you doing here? Well, I thought I might do a bit of digging, you know? Get rid of this pond. Why? Well, to make room for the new shed I'm going to build you. And he'll paint it in any colour you like in that ground. Quite likes the pond. I thought you hated it. Yeah, well, I did, but then I got used to it. And you're saying you want to keep it? Maybe. <laughs> well, if we could make it a bit less boring. And what did you have in mind, love? <laughs> oh, thank you for coming. Eh? Hey, I've made you some lunch. What do you want, Tracy? I want to apologise. I've been really horrible. Really? Yeah. I think it was jealousy. Mm, I can take it down if it's making you feel insecure. Oh, no, 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 it's not that. It's, um, it's Steve. He's pretty much admitted his feelings for you. Did he? When? Last week, when you moved in. What did he say? He said that there's a chemistry between you and him that he's never had with me, and that every time he was with me, all he thought about was you. You're lying. No, no, I'm not. I swear on your life, it's the truth. So why has he not told me? Because he's shy. Hmm. It was like that on our first date, actually, when it got down to the nitty-gritty. Which is why he needs a strong woman. Maybe. Somebody that won't take no for an answer. Hmm. Hey, listen. Why don't you get him round here tonight and, um, seduce him? I can take Amy out and you'll have the place to yourselves. Hang on. What's in this for you? Nothing. So why are you doing this? Because... I've realised there's no point standing in the path of true love. Hmm. You're not the first woman who's backed down in the face of my considerable charms, it has to be said. And I won't be the last. <laughs> hey. To true love. You know, you're not as bad as folks say. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Why can't you just come home? Oh, Sai, it's not quite as simple as that. Me and your dad have decided that we don't want to live together anymore. But why? Well, because that's what grown-ups decide sometimes. Are you getting a divorce? Um, please don't. I'll be in the kitchen. Come and sit here for a minute. Come on, see. Right, you listen to me. Even if me and your dad do get a divorce, it doesn't mean that I don't love you anymore, OK? And it doesn't mean that I won't be your mum anymore. But how can you be my mum if you're not there? Well, because I'll visit you lots and lots and we can speak on the phone every day. But only if you're a good boy and you promise to stay out of trouble. If you came back, Dad wouldn't drink. What is he drinking now? She is. Who is? Carla? What, is she doing it in front of you? And she's horrible to me. What do you mean? She picked me up from school drunk and hurt my arm. The boiler's on the blink. No, it can't wait. Craigie feels the cold. Well, I know he's a big lad, but still. Yeah, six would be grand. OK, thanks, Steve. Bye. Come to Mama. What's going on? Let's just say, Steve is going to have the night of his life. Cartwright's first batch is complete. Good. How do you fancy roast chicken later? I'll do my carrot and sweet mash. Just going to go home tonight. Sally got work to do. 
You might work better after a bit of relaxation. I said no, OK? Oh, um, sorry, Mr Foster, would you mind just signing this off for me, please? Mr Packham knows about this? Yeah, he told Dad. And what did he do about it? He said I had to be nice to her. I don't believe this. He doesn't see what else she does. What do you mean? She gets drunk when he's not there and she shouts at me and sometimes she... She what? She hits me. And what do you think you're doing? I was just... Reading my private emails. I'm sorry. What is this? It's an email to my solicitor. But you know that anyway, don't you? But you're talking about sacking an entire workforce. I'm asking about the legal implications. But is that what you're planning? I really don't have to discuss this with you, Sally. So you are. Sally. Does that include me? Sally. Well, does it? Where is she? She's in a meeting. Can't get here now. Haven't you done enough badging in for one How day? How dare you hurt my little boy? What? You've been hitting him. Hitting an eight-year-old kid. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.